Hello world, Wave Time here bringing to you another episode of Resonance Rises. So, something very exciting. We found some cactus. We finally found some dang cactus. Now we'll be able to get all the green dye that we want, and that is not oil, would it be? That is sludge. Now I noticed this Thumbcraft mini dungeon over here. It has a spawner, if I remember correctly. It's going to be... Oh, there's two of them right next to each other. Ah, yeah, this was one that I was having trouble with earlier. However, it should be easy enough to get... Ha! Take that spider spawner! And we got some red garnet. We got some bronze. That'll be nice. Some tin. And we'll take the music disc and extra red stone. Uh, red stone. Not red stone. That is something else. Herp derp. I have no idea what red stone is. But anyways, let's go get this spider spawner also. Okay. Um, hmm. Thought. Okay. The cobwebs might have just spawned there thinking it was the same tree, but there is no dungeon there. So we're going to pick up the cactus, and, ah, fudge, and we're going to need to find something else, because unfortunately, Greg has actually took my suggestion. If we look at the flint and steel, it requires steel. Steel nugget, which requires steel, which I don't think there's an easy enough process for me to get it without going through all of the industrial blast furnace uh, stuff. Let's see. Steel dust. Can I use you? Okay. I guess I could get steel dust if I do not get the stuff which is required for the single use match. It requires phosphorus of either of the two varieties. So once we gather that, it should be in the desert biomes, which is one of the reason why I am in here. So I'm just going to get get the cactus, get some phosphorus, I might remember where I found some earlier, and obviously threw away, and then we can go, is that a door? That's a door. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see our phosphor. Okay, whenever you cross the railway tracks, look both ways. Making sure no one is going to catch you by surprise surprise when they fall down the uh, hole that they can't get back from. Okay, so I think we found some phosphor, unless this is some sort of mystery metal. If it is, I don't want to know what it is. However, phosphor! Ah, dang it, it's sulfur. It's close, isn't it? Uh, wait a minute, is that it? No, that might be manganese. Please don't be manganese. Please be phosphor. Bah! That is not tag magnesium. Magnesium! <laughs> okay, I'll find it eventually. Maybe I can raid Kieran's base or maybe ask for a trade. Worst comes to worst, I'll just trade him, maybe give him like half a stack of redstone or something like that because it's going to be. Well, it's going to be needed for both of us eventually, but anyways. Or I could just go for the cheap steel solution, but that doesn't really uh, invite much in the way of thought. Uh, okay. Let's get that. Get some lava shield on. And, okay, you're going to have to... Come on. Come at me, bro. Goodbye. You know, now that I think of it, there's something I should have tried from the very beginning, but, well, I didn't find the phosphor, but there's something that might actually work. So let's go inside and close that. Maybe go from this angle and get our spell book and blam! Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Can't believe I didn't think of that. So, let's go back and deposit our stuff over there, and then go to the nether, thoroughly underprepared, because, well, at least we will have our fire shield ready, willing, and able to kick some butt. Okay, time to have a little fun in the nether, see what uh, 
idiocies await me and what type of death I may manage to give upon myself. Now, I don't think anyone's actually been in the nether yet, so this will be a good opportunity to see what type of things will need to be generated and, and other stuff like that. Hmm. Now, I'm thinking it might be worth it with all the new nether ores, such as this, and nether trees. Huh. So, these seem like trees made by Natura. And we have some of these as well. These look like dark clouds. Ash clouds. 3x3 three three converts into charcoal. And they are nice and fluffy, huh? Don't know if I want to smear my face in them, though. So I don't think I will. Hmm. This might give us the access to sulfur. We have some quartz over here. We got some pigmen with armor. Oh, great. That's good. That's always good. And we also got some more quartz there. So let's go down and get our fire shield on. Because it's going to prove useful somehow. And these guys are just going to make it easy on me. Ho! Oh, couldn't have planned that better. Okay, so... Are getting a bit used... And they are some sort of bush over here. What type are you? Nether Quartz? Blightberry. Killer healing. We gotta see what that is. Now, the killer healing part doesn't breed much confidence. Um... And this is another type of nether ore, which is suruclase ore, and it probably makes suruclase ingots, which is, wow, imagine that. And it probably makes some good armor and weapons as well, so we'll probably make a set of armor out of that. Ooh, we got pigmen, so be careful not to mine too much. Now this nether tree intrigues me. Ugh, bloodwood? Bloodwood, fire resistant, makes interesting planks. Uh, let's see. I don't think I want my trees to, or rather my house to be made of that stuff. Um, I think I'll pass on that. So there's a bunch of different nether ores. If I didn't know any better, I'd say every single ore has another equivalent here. Now that's a lot of pigmen, and I don't have any sort of water spells got enough fire though to make this work and uh oh uh okay what does this cause this cause causes poison too when you step on it so that must be good um let's see it is viroc ceris probably another fantasy metal this is fool's gold this is regular gold ore <coughs> Yep, they're angry. Okay. Okay, let's get them back. 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 Okay, we're going to need to rapier them. And unfortunately, they're all coming after me. Okay, so got them done. They're dead. I'm alive. That's all we could ask for. But we did manage to get some of the gold ore at least I mined it we didn't get it though so let's go grab it no I must have grabbed it where is it where is it hard orange there it is okay and we got some fool's gold here so regular compared to fooled and we also have some nether quartz which we can add to our weapons to make them sharper so I'm going to explore a bit more in the nether hopefully get some glowstone because there's certainly some things that I'd like to add to my nether tire. And hopefully get something... Oh, glowstone over there. If we find any other good ores that might be great to get right away, we'll certainly go grab them. Otherwise, I don't think there's too much currently to do here. That didn't go well. As you can tell, being naked, I managed to get crowded by a bunch of pigmen who wanted their all of my autographs, all of them, and managed to respawn here. 
Naked. Uh, okay, so that didn't go well. So what we're going to want to do is probably uh, work our way back up. Thankfully, we did leave all of our materials here. And unfortunately, when I tried to go back to get my stuff again, they swarmed me again. How am I supposed to... <sighs> anyway, so what we're going to want to do is remake our tools, remake our weapons... Find some happiness, then maybe start with some tech stuff to stay alive. Thank you very much. Dang it, at least ask a guy to dinner before you go like this. Come on. <sighs> okay, so I managed to come back. Um, don't know where all of my stuff is. Hopefully it's a little more intact than it could be. But the pigmen are over there who killed me. And I'm going to have to kill them one at a time and see how much I have left. Now that might not be an easy enough task in and of itself. That's why we're going to have to use one-on-one -on -one tactics. And hopefully the main thing I want back is my spell book. Without the spell book, I'm broke. I'm broke without it. Though some of our stuff seems to have survived. Though how much? It sucks that the fire was there as well. Because if the fire wasn't there, things might have gone a bit better for us. <sighs> Last one. Last one. There we go. Okay, how much survived? Let's use our battle sign, and a lot of it has. Our diamond pickaxe has survived as well. And yes, yes, yes. Victory is ours. Our spell book has survived. Hello. So now that we are here and a bit more prepared and hopefully not pigmen friendly, we should be able to have a bit better time getting the glowstone that we originally asked for. Is that... That's like a nethercraft tree. It's been so long since I saw one of those. Oh my gosh. Is that glow wood? That must be Glowwood. Okay, uh, keep your wits about you, Wei. Keep your wits about you. And that's not quite the Glowwood I remember, but there was an old mod called Nethercraft, which I really adored when I was a lot earlier in my career. Now, uh, let's see. Are you Glowwood? Glow Ghostwood. Okay, that's not what I quite envisioned, but oh well, no matter. So... Uh, now that we're getting attacked quite uh, extensively, that might be useful. It's unfortunate that... Okay, nether coal? Don't blow up! Don't blow up, I say! Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Turns out maybe not. Okay, so... We shouldn't de dilly-dally too long. There's more than enough stuff to look at, though. And it's quite extensive in what we can find. The gold, at least, is safe to mine. Now, let's just get some glowstone and get the heck out of here. Okay, so good news and bad news. Well, mainly good news, but bad news indeed. Ghast is still firing at me. However, I have found a nice little ore called Nether Diamond Ore. Nether Diamond Ore. Um, Nether Diamond Ore does have a tendency to kill me, however, so I don't know if it's a good ore to be going for. However, since I now know what it looks like, now that I know what it looks like, it's a shade darker than that stuff, we'll be able to go for it quite extensively. It might even be worth mining or quarrying out the nether to get to such a bountiful bounty. Um, I sound like a bounty commercial. Uh, let's get the heck out of here because the nether is still too hostile for my liking. I even saw a few wraiths that definitely don't seem like they are nice jolly fellows that the myths make us make them look out to be. Okay, let's look at our ores, maybe see what the blight berry will do, and then work on some energy finally. 
So there were a few things I was actually missing that I wanted before we started on too much higher uh, or processing. What we're going to do is get our iron and make another type of alloy. If we get our materials and you book, we can look and go for another type of alloy. And this isn't the correct book, is it? No, it is not. Therefore, let's go for the mighty smelting. And we're going to go for alumite, which is the pinky material. And it's five aluminum, two iron, and two obsidian. I think this is probably the next tier of armor, or rather tools that I'll need. You know what would be fun? Info armor. That would be nice. Okay, so it's a mining level of four, which is needed. That's a cobalt, and it has a base durability of 550 and a handle modifier of 1.3 and the material ability is reinforced level 2. Huh. Not knowing too much about that stuff, let's see how much we can actually produce. So go into the smeltery controller, we'll put in our 5 aluminum, 2 obsidian, and 2 iron. Thankfully it doesn't matter what order they're in, and we are going to have to wait for this stuff to work out. Now, in the meantime, we can go and make some other stuff, which I've been itching to get to. Okay, so let's see. Ores, food. So, this is going to be a mod set that I haven't actually delved too much into, so I may get a lot messed up. We're going to be going with universal electricity. Some of the things are going to be disastrous to make, especially since I'm not fully confident with much of it. But one of the first things we're going to want to do is get a source of energy storage because we're going to want to make as much energy as possible. So we have some coal for the energy that we're going to eventually produce, but we are going to need to make some steel. Now, this is unfortunately a different type of steel compared to Greg Tech. We're not going to be using the industrial blast furnace because there's a more costly alternative. By doing steel dust using four charcoal instead of two, it's a bit more costly and it is a lot better because of it. At least I think so. Anyway, so we're going to need steel dust. That's going to be six of it. And do we have any refined iron? I don't think so. No, we do not. We've got a bunch of junk. And this is where our ore doubling does come into play. Let's look at some other things that we're going to need so we have a better understanding of the stuff we need. Okay, we also need a coal generator. So that's seven extra iron. Uh, sorry. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 steel. That's already adding up, and that's a coal generator. We also need a furnace. So if we check the furnace recipe, it's going to be another 8, 9, 10, 11 steel. So what were we at? Hmm. 27, I do believe. So 27 steel is quite a bit. And we don't have the charcoal supply to get the 27 steel. We're going to need to cut up some more wood and furnace the stuff up. There's also another thing which we're going to need to look at, but we can look at that at a later time. It's going to be our ore doubling machine that we're going to be powering off of this. We also need a bunch of copper cable. So I don't think that's the correct one. It's wire. And this is the wire and universal electricity actually goes for a more realistic approach on electricity. Thankfully, the insulation is not too disastrous to make. So we're going to need to make a lot of steel. That's going to require a lot of iron, which is going to require more refinement as well. Hmm. Another thing I wanted to check was in metallurgy. Uh, just something quickly. I don't know if it's going to be even be working. I have no idea what this is, but I saw it. It's an abstractor. I can officially say I have no clue what this is. So we're going to want to search that at a later time. So we're going to need to work on some ore doubling. I'm thinking 
Yeah, let's make another uh, copper crusher. That might be the best bet. But we might as well look at our nice little ores that we got from here. We got some liquid. And this is the alumite. And I wonder if we have enough for more iron and the rest. So five more aluminum, five more obsidian should give us, sorry, five more aluminum, two more obsidian should give us what we're hoping for. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Five aluminum. And our obsidian is over here. So I'm going to go and we're going to need to do a bunch more tree planting to get the required uh, stuff. We're going to not need the gold right now, but iron is a must. So we'll just feed the iron into the hopper, hopefully have enough, and then be back and take care of business every day. Okay, so it seems like we need about a stack of, no, half a stack of all of the steel stuff. So let's see, we are also making some osmium dust. However, it does seem like it needs a compressor to actually use. However, we will be able to get to that eventually. So we have some coal and we got probably enough otherwise to get all of the steel that is going to be required. So let's see. Iron and coal or rather charcoal. Here we go. Let's go with this and this. No, I did not want you there. Uh, let's make this to start off with. 16 should be enough. And this will help us create it, the other parts. Um, let's see, two charcoal will be required. And then let's see, that gets our enriched, not our enriched iron. However, we got some other things we need to do. Let's make the battery box. First of all, it requires the three batteries, which require tin, coal and redstone so we got our redstone do we have our tin dang enderman do we have tin 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 we should have tin dust somewhere i thought ah here we go we don't have quite enough therefore we're going to need to cook, cook some more let's see we're going to need 15 in total that means we're going to need one extra tin and this uncolorable tin does really uh, annoy me in the fact that I can't really tell if it's tin or not. It's horrible. It doesn't look like tin. I mean, well, maybe it does look like tin in the real world, but I'm not used to tin being so uh, untin-like. So once we get that, uh, we're going to need to get our steel as well. Here's steel dust. Uh, do we have to smelt this further? Let's see, we can make white glass. Mixer, Dagnabbit, ah crud, dang it, so we can't go into the universal electricity stuff right now, we have to go into a bit of Greg Tech before we manage to get to the steel stage because we need to unfortunately cook this into the industrial blast furnace. That's a bit annoying. Sure, that is a bit annoying. However, it does at least give us a clear indication of what we need to do. However, it's nice that we have some tin. So now that we know what we need, let's check the insulated copper cable recipe. Hope that we have an alternative since I was hoping we didn't. Assembly table, what the point of... I hope we don't need an assembly table to get that. I sure as heck hope not. So we do have some rubber from our mine factory reloaded. So let's get all of the rubber that we need. Here we go. And hey look, a tree grew right before our eyes. Yay, it's like science. At least we'll be able to stockpile on a bit more coal so we can get that in the future. So we have over a stack. Now I did make some nice little pickaxe kickaxe, uh, kickaxe pickaxe. Now let's see. Uh, timely. I'm not going to name them yet. Too much work. Too much work. Though I did uh, enchant this one with haste. And it's a good thing to note that I thought originally that 
the redstone was used up per action. However, that's not the case. So I put 50 redstone on this and 25 lapis. We can still put a lot more lapis. The redstone puts haste on, which gave me 4 mining speed. And I got lapis, which now gives luck. And let's just show the mining speed. Um, let's see. It's pretty fast. Not the fastest in the world, but it is pretty darn fast. So you also have a sharpness rapier by just going and storming the nether for nether quartz. That definitely works out well. And we do have, well, since we know we have to go into Greg Tech and Industrial Craft to get to the stuff, we might as well work on getting all of the gold ore that we will need for all of that. So what are we going to need? We're going to need a different battery for, uh, battery box, rather. Hmm, let's see. I think the industri uh, Greg Tech stuff does work on universal electricity, so we only need to work on so much but we do need to get to an industrial blast furnace so we do need a good stockpile of energy so MFE wait do we have any rubies yes we do however it doesn't look like it's gonna be an easy to find occurrence so we can't exactly bet on rubies unless we have ruby dust but that doesn't work. At least we do have some diamonds, so that will help out in our stead. We need more redstone, don't we? Ah, the land of possibilities. Oh, we do have the redstone. Derp. Okay, so MFE, I'm thinking we'll start off with, since we do have enough to get such a energy storage unit. However, we also do need a transformer, and we can start working on the other stuff. That is good good that is good that is good okay so first of all we need to make the mfe which requires gold cabling which requires some gold dust um let's not work on the mfe right away we should go for the bat box the industrial craft version which is just some wood with some re batteries and we all know how to make re batteries so that shouldn't be too much of a problem i'll just take you Thank you very much for your patronage, and we'll just uh, use all of those up, since why not? Science! There we go. Works like a charm, and we got the copper cable. So, the assembly table does look like... Well, I doubt it's going to be just used for wiring, so we'll have to look out for some of the recipes that it'll also have. So, what are we going to do with our copper cable? We're going to need to make a generator... The generator requires the... So, another battery. I don't even know how that works. So, we need another battery. That works. And we then also need to make a furnace. An electric furnace. Which will be useful because of reasons. So, electric furnace, which will require another dosage of the fun. And we'll go cook up some more of this once all of that is done. So furnace, furnace, furnace. Okay, now I said I was going to go work on getting the industrial craft stuff right, but for some reason this ice flow really piqued my interest. For some reason it is... Well, it has chests in it. I don't know why, but it has chests in it, so I'm going to go uh, see what the deal is with that. Hopefully we can see some sort of reason why chests would be in here if there's some sort of airlock. Nope, nope, nope. Get up, get up, get up. Breathe. Ah, okay. Maybe we can go with this approach and see what the deal with these... Ch huh. Enderbolt, Arcane Essence. And this must be some sort of... Yeah, this is another Ars Magica construct having this huge ice flow in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of chests as well. I have no idea why it's like that, but Air Essence, Flight, that's going to be an interesting spell recipe to learn. And, I don't know, is this supposed to be some sort of maze? Because I see some odd etchings in it. Though that may just be my imagination. Because I see nothing to the contrary. 
instead of just going running and gunning your way through the entire thing. We got yes, affinity tome fire and heal others, which won't be as good. However, this affinity tome will allow me to cast fire spells. Let's just look at this. Uh, let's open up our spell book. We can see uh, 35 for fire burst on the low one, but on the medium it's 140. If we learn this, you can see the fire emblem at the bottom, and it's 105 instead. So that's a huge reduction. Uh, we might as well keep this just in case we die, and we have some foci, which I'm not too sure the use of. So I'll just explore this a bit. I was hoping to find rubies or some other Ars Magica construct. However, this has certainly been nice. Hmm. We gotta learn all these. Huh. You'd assume that there'd be more, I don't know, ice spells in such a construct than fire spells? Because, frankly, learning fire spells in an area with a bunch of ice, I don't know, kind of leaves one to a lot of suspicion. So I'm going to give Kieran Dave the benefit of the other one, because I don't want to be the only one who has magical abilities. That being said, I should probably make sure he doesn't catch me off guard, because, you know, Kieran and his shenanigans, things could get out of hand. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Resonance Rises. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. Fire, fire, fire. No, 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 no. We have time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day. Take that. Ha-ha. Wrong spell.